next we have a 2015 question the question reads as which of the following statements regarding green climate fund so fund uh, are correct it is intended to assist the developing countries in adaptation and mitigation practices to counter climate change it is found under the aegis of unep oecd asian development bank and world bank so they are asking about your green climate fund so green climate fund is something that was created to give assistance for your climate change related activities so statement 1 is correct it's founded under the aegis of unep oecd none of these it was founded in 2010 by your unfcc okay so the answer to this question is a 1 only only the first statement is correct this is a 2015 question the question reads as bio carbon fund initiative for sustainable forest landscapes is managed by the asian development bank international monetary fund united nations environment program and world bank bio carbon fund as we are normally call it it is an exclusive world bank related fund Okay, so there is not much discussion needed on it. It's an exclusive World Bank fund, and the answer to this question is D. Next, we have a 2014 question. The question is primarily with an Indian organization, I would say, with reference to the Bombay Natural History Society. Consider the following statements. First statement: It is an autonomous organization under the Ministry of Environment and Forest. It strives to conserve nature through action-based research, education, and public awareness. It organizes and conducts nature trails and camps for general. public the bombay natural history society was con con i mean created in your pre independence times and it is not an autonomous organization under the ministry of environment and forest so it's a autonomous organization but not under the ministry of environment and forest it's its own it has its own governing body etc so option 1 is wrong option 1 is wrong we left with two options two only three Two is so correct. So three is what it organizes and conducts nature trails and camps for the general public. That is also correct. The answer to this question is C, two and three only. Next, we come across a 2014 question. The question reads as with reference to a conservation organization called as Wetlands International. Which of the following statements are correct? it is an intergovernmental organization formed by countries which are signatories to the ramsar convention it works at the field level to develop and mobilize knowledge and use the practical experience to advocate for better policies now see when it comes to wetland international it was an organization formed much before your ramsar convention Okay, Ramsar was in nineteen seventy one. Wetland happened even prior to that fifties, nineteen fifties or so. So it is not an intergovernmental organization formed where signatories of Ramsar are your members. Okay, so that first statement is clearly wrong. But on the other hand, when it comes to your um, second statement, where it for, tries to work, it tries to do a field level activities, and one field level activity that it does is your water bird census you must have heard about something called as your asian water bird census in fact to do this water bird census they actually organize it along with another organization we studied some time ago which is your dnhs so yes it does work at field level to create better policies so your second statement is correct your first is wrong the answer to your question is b two only next we have a 2014 question the question reads as if a wetland of international importance is brought under the montrex record what does it imply first statement changes in ecological character have occurred and are occurring and are likely to occur in the wetland as result of human interference the country in which the wetland is located should enact a law to prohibit any human activity within 5 kilometers from the edge of the 
wetland first of all ramsar is not legally binding or I, when it comes to any of these things i'll tell you a bit of a background on montreal record so that you'll understand why i mentioned ramsar so you had the ramsar list ramsar is primarily the listing of all the major important wetlands of the world now it does not try to differentiate it between if it's degraded or non degraded nothing if it's an important wetland you put it into the ramsar list but in your ramsar list there can be certain wetlands which are undergoing severe degradation so what happens is from the ramsar list you choose certain sites and they, you put it into another list called as your montrex record okay india previously had three sites under montrex record now india has just two sites now the thing is it's those sites which are heavily affected by human activities so much so that they are on the edge of degradation now the reason i mention ramsar is because this is a list created from your ramsar sites they are not independently choosing it if a certain site is there in your ramsar list and that site has been affected really badly is where you pick it and you put it into your montrex record so now when you look at it in that sense ramsar in itself is not legally binding so then how can you say the country will have to enact a law to prohibit any human activity that is not practical that is wrong the survival of the wetland depends on the cultural practices and traditions of certain communities living in its vicinity and therefore the cultural diversity therein should not be destroyed now that is any wetland every wetland will have people over there so that is why you put it into something called as your ramsar so there from there if you're moving into montrex it should mean something very exceptional so that is not correct it is given the status of the world heritage site we know that that is done by a totally different organization called as your unesco and that is also not right the answer to your question is a that there are some changes that are happening and not good changes really bad changes that has led to the putting of it into your montrex record the answer to this question is a next is a 2014 question which reads as consider the following statements regarding earth hour it is an initiative of unep and unesco it is a movement in which participants switch off the lights for 1 hour on a certain day every year it is a movement to raise awareness about the climate change and the need to save the planet see now when you look at this earth hour is something that is quite famous all around the world and it's an initiative by your wwf worldwide fund for nature okay it's not by unep and unesco this is a wrong statement and the other two statements are correct it's a movement in which their participants switch off the light and it is to create awareness the answer to this question is c 2 and 3 only apart from this wwf also create certain things called as your living planet index death for nature swap calculation of ecological footprint calculation of earth overshoot hour earth overshoot day all of these are also done by your wwf so the answer to this question is c 2 and 3 only the next question is a 2014 question the question reads as with reference to global environment facility which of the following statements is or are correct it serves as a financial mechanism for uncbd and unfcc it undertakes scientific research on environmental issues at global level see it can either be a financial thing or it can be a scientific thing okay it is an agency under oecd to facilitate the transfer of technology funds to underdeveloped countries with specific aim to protect their environment i just told you oecd is a very light organization they don't do these kind of activities at all and i earlier told you both a and b will not come because it ha either has to be a financial mechanism or it has to be a scientific research thing so option d is also gone now amongst these both your answer is a 
Global Environment Facility is a financing mechanism created for your Minamata, Montreal Convention, Montreal Protocol, your UNFCC, UNCBD, for all of this, this serves as a financial mechanism, okay? And there is no scientific research done. One of the organizations that does even a little bit of scientific activities amongst your climate change related things is your IPCC, okay? So, your answer to this question is A.